Hey Chuglets, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for clicking on the video. Ah, oh, I'm just chilling out here. It's about four and a half hours until my ABT squad time. Ah, oh, so I'm in the process of getting ready to get ready to go bowling. So I thought I would show you guys what's in my bag. What's in my bowling bag? I've been meaning to do this video for a very long time, like a hundred videos ago at least. <laughs> It seems like I should have done it a while ago, but I didn't. But uh, today seemed like as good a day as any getting ready to get ready to go bowl. What does that mean? It means uh, means I got to wash, I got to clean my ball still, uh, which is actually really something that you should do after every bowling session. You want to make sure that you get all that oil and <clears throat> all that ick from the lanes off of your bowling balls. Some people do it after they bowl, which I like too. I need to get back in the habit of that. It makes more sense to do it after you bowl. That way, your balls are prepped. They're ready to go for your next bowling session. Uh, so just try to keep that in mind, getting that habit of uh, putting some ball cleaner on your bowling balls and uh, you know getting them prepped for your next bowling session. But let's, uh, let's take a look at what's in my bowling bag. Uh, of course, I've got my bowling shoes. You know, there's some uh, good old KR Strike Force bowling shoes. Nothing too fancy. They don't have the uh, interchangeable heel or or toe or anything like that. Just regular bowling shoe, as you can see. I uh, got my Brunswick, got my Brunswick shoe covers. You know, you know me. I love my Brunswick. Gotta have my Brunswick. Shoe covers. Shoe covers are important. You want to make sure you have shoe covers. A lot of bowlers smoke. You know, I'm not judging anybody. I used to smoke too. I vape now. I vape, brah. Anyway, but shoe covers. Um, a lot of bowlers will only cover their sliding foot. Uh, the reason and rationale behind that is, is you don't want to, if you're going outside for whatever, you know, if you're even walking around, you know, you want to cover your bowling shoe, your sliding foot, because, you know, people spill stuff, stuff gets spilled on the carpets, you know, and on the approach, well, not on the approaches, but in the settee area, um, you can stick and, you know, you'll end up hurting yourself. That's the rationale for uh, using shoe covers and, uh, and uh, you know, shoe covers. But a lot of bullets will only cover the sliding shoe. I'm here to start advocating you need to cover both shoes. Reason for it is if you're walking around, if you're going outside to smoke or whatever, yeah, your sliding shoe is covered. That's all well and good, but you know what? You're still getting up onto the approach with your non-slide, with your non-slide foot, and so you're still tracking in all that dirt and rocks and grit and grime and grossness from outside on your non-slide foot. That's still coming in and transferring onto the approach. So, please. Cover both of your shoes if you're going to go outside. That's my soapbox for the day. Hope you enjoyed it. What else is in the bag, Chuggy? Well, I got my chamois. I used two chamois just because I like the feel of them. I really should have cleaned them before today, but I didn't. And now there's not enough time because, you know, they got to air dry. But got my chamois, my pink chamois. Those are ready to go. Try and get a habit of using chamois, clean up all that excess oil off your ball, especially since I'm bowling on a house or a pro shot today. Well, sports shot. ABT number seven is the pattern, 44 feet long. Uh, what else? What else is in the bag, Chuggy? Abrolon pads. I never use these. I, I mean, I have before when I've polished my ball, um, but I generally don't use them, but I've got a thousand grit here, thousand grit Aberlon, and uh, 500 grit. Um, for those of you that don't know, you want to use a pad to add surface to your ball. Shiny balls will tend to skid more. A dull ball, a ball with surface on it will tend to grip the lane more. Um, I don't really use pads. I just have them you know, just in case, but it's something that you want to have in your bag. Um, even if you don't use it, you know, it's it's a tool. It's better to need it and not have it than to have it and not need it. You know what I mean? 
But uh, another word on pads, like I said, they will add surface to the ball. They will um, help the ball grip the lane a little better. Uh, a lot of people, bowlers that tend to hook the ball, will use a pad on their ball to take down some of the shine, add more surface to it so it can grip the lane as they're using all 39 boards. What else is in the bag, Chuggy? Oh, this. This is a handy dandy little tool that I just picked up not too long ago. It's a heel, it's a, a shoe brush. So you want to use this to clean your shoes, help with your slide. If you're sliding too much, you can use it to, you know, apply the brakes a little bit, but I never had one of these until a few weeks ago, and like now I use it almost every time. Like it's it's awesome. So get yourself a shoe brush. They're good. Uh let's see, I got towel. PBA certified league board towel. I use the towel for my hands. Um you and like I said, this is just my personal preference, but I don't like using towels on my balls, and you generally don't want to use the same towel on your hands that you're using on your equipment. Like, what if you're going to eat? Like, yeah, ew, gross. So, yeah, this towel is for my hands. You know, I generally try to handle stuff with my left hand, you know, if I'm eating or drinking or whatever. And so, you know, you still don't want to get that, that condensation, that sweat from your beverage on your balls. So, I have a separate towel for my hands that I use. Uh, what else is in the bag? Socks! My three pairs of bowling socks. Got, got my pink, got my pink weed socks there. Yeah. What else? I got, I got some socks that I got at the health fair. Those are cool. They're comfortable. And I got my pride socks. Absolutely. Lenny, you're not in my bowling bag. You're not bowling equipment, sir. Lenny thinks he's bowling equipment, but he's not. He's not bowling equipment. Oh, uh, let's see. I got uh, my armbands, my arm sleeves. Help keep my arm warm, keep that blood flowing nice and circulated. And my glove. I got my glove. I'm one of the only bowlers I know that uses a glove, actually. But I like it. It keeps my hand warm. I've always had a glove, so, you know, if it ain't broke, don't fix it, right? And then, here we go. Got my little accessory bag. And what's inside my accessory bag? You know, your normal accessories. Got my, got my rosin. You know, got my little rosin. Uh, some... Some black tape that I just simply don't use, but you know, have it better to have it and not need it than to need it and not have it. And besides, there's other bowlers there. Maybe some other bowler needs it and be like, hey, I don't use it. You're more than welcome to it. This, oh, what is this? I forgot what this is. This is, oh, this is, oh, this is, um, I don't even remember. I think it's to make you not stick. I don't know. This isn't even the original bag it came with. I think, yeah, I think I found this in an old bowling bag. I have no clue what this is. Uh, what else? Tape. Got my thumb tape. The white tape. You never have too much tape. Yeah. Got all of this tape in here. I'm not going to pour out all my tape. And then lastly, my nail file. What is a nail file for? I don't actually file my nails with it, but it's a good tool to get your tape in and out of your thumb hole. See? Yeah, so. That is what's in the top part of my bag. Obviously the bowling balls are in the middle, or in the bottom part. You wanna see the bowling balls? I feel like you've seen them, but hey, sure, why not? We'll show you the bowling balls. All right. Oh. My hammer, bad intentions. Point this toward you so you can see the layout. This is, um, I forget how good this ball is. I, I use it to start out sometimes um, and then I'll go into one of my other balls and 
when I'm just lost and I can't, I don't have a ball that works, I forget I have this ball and then I'll throw it and it works. But this is a very good ball. This ball goes long and has a lot of snap at the end of it. Uh, what else? Ah, oh, Pinky. We all know Pinky by now. Yeah, there's Pinky. Yes, Pinky. The original Pearl, not the urethane. This one, this one is a very, this one, what does this ball do? I don't even remember. This ball, this ball goes a little bit straighter. Uh, but yeah, this, this ball is an all-purpose ball. It's good on house shots. It's good on sports shots. I love it. It never leaves my bag. And then the ball that I will probably be throwing today is my Brunswick Zenith, solid, ta-da! Yeah, this ball really likes the pattern that we're bowling on. I bowled on it a couple weeks ago uh, when I bowled plus 65, I use this ball. But yeah, this ball matches up to this pattern, so I have very high hopes and I'm feeling good about it. So this should be, this should be a good tournament. All right, so those are the balls, and in the last pocket, I've got ball ring, ball stand, you know, it's pretty obvious what that's for. You put your bowling balls on it. And then this stuff. Yeah, buddy. Kegel Revive. This is really good cleaner. I love it. I don't use anything else. Period. Exclamation point. I don't use anything else. Glenn sold this to me, and the reason that he likes it, and it makes sense, Kegel makes the oil, so they should know what to use to take it off your bowling equipment, so. But no, this is really good. It's, um, it restores tack to the ball, it gets in there, it gets all of that oil off of your bowling ball, you know, even if you haven't done it in a while. If you have a ball spinner, it works even better. Uh, yeah, I super, super love this stuff, and it is hard to find, too. Um, let's see. Uh, my towel. This is my cleaning towel. My polishing towel. This has polish on it from the last time I polished my bowling balls. Don't like to use the same towel that I clean my bowling balls with to polish them. Uh, what else? What else? Oh. Backup gloves, because you know, stuff happens, you might rip a glove in competition, and you gotta make sure you have one to switch into. So backup gloves, and, oh, cool, huh, how about that? Uh, my ABT card, and my USB-C sanction card. Oh man, expires 326, so I'm gonna be renewing next year, but uh, yeah. That is what's in the bag. That's what Cheggy keeps in his bag. That's what goes with me when I go bowling. So, uh, yeah. Hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, oh, wow. It's like a quarter to 11. I have got to get ready. But, yeah, I'm bowling the 2 o'clock squad. Uh, it's ABT Regional Triple Crown event. Uh, come down and see me. Holiday Lanes, 2 p.m. Keep on chugging. Oh, make sure to please like, share, and subscribe. I think I'm close to 110 subscribers now, so this thing keeps getting bigger and better. We keep getting bigger and bigger and better. Maybe I'll actually invest in some equipment. But hey, come see me if you enjoy bowling. If you want to see me do awesome, I'm bowling with Tyler. He's going to carry me this whole thing. That's why I selected him to bowl with me. You know, bowling doubles is more about, you know, good partner selection than it is actually bowling well. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. He's better than me. I'll gladly admit that, but you know, I can hold my own. So I'm really looking forward to it. I got to get ready. I got to shower. I got to clean my bowling balls. Oh, got to breathe. Like, should say it. Like, that, 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 that. Like, share. Subscribe. Keep on chugging.